Hello Gemini, welcome to the channel, it's Sarad and uh, in this video we're going to check into your weekly tarot reading July 18th up until uh, July 24th, uh, 2022nd and uh, if you are interested into having a personal reading with me you can always go to my website uh, which link you're going to find uh, in the description down below and there at the very front page you will see full list of my services and as well their pricing so with that set aside let's check into what cards you have for the week itself and uh, the first card for you gemini uh, that is going to be the queen of cups moving on next uh, we do have the seven of pentacles followed on with uh, the wheel of fortune here and the final card for you, Gemini, that stands at the tower. So uh, those four cards are going to mark your week. Oh, Gemini, these cards have a very important message for you guys. And it is that the path to prosperity and even the path to making the hopeful change that is going to turn around your life. It's going to open for you only once and you got to be steadfast about it. Now we can see very clearly into the cards that the majority of the week is going to be very uneventful. Uh, we can see that into the two, uh, into the Queen of Cups, I'm sorry, and the Seven of Pentacles, which sits into the second position. That is the position of what works against you. Okay. And uh, what works against you is the lack of value. It is that you know things which are happening around you either they are going not to they, they're not going to concern you or they are going to concern you very very little uh, and the queen of cups is in an environment this is a, a very uneventful, uneventful environment uh in, in the material world where you know your uh your work is going just normally as it was going up until this point, that is what I mean normally, right? So no change whatsoever. Same thing goes into the love life as well, with exception that you may start feeling more and more attracted to a specific person or to a specific uh, event that is gonna take part into your love life. But in the material front, nothing really is moving and that is up until a specific point into the week now for every single one of you this is going to be a different point for some of you gemini it may happen tuesday for others it may happen at the very evening of sunday right for some maybe friday friday noon and so on and so forth but the thing it is that at this specific point here as we can see with the wheel of fortune and the tower card <clears throat> it is that just out of nowhere in a matter of a second everything is going to change everything is going to shift and it will feel so sudden and, and, and chaotic and, and abnormal and awkward and, and bizarre and that's your cue when you feel that way that is your cue to really take an initiative here and take advantage of the circumstances because they will feel and seem very random but they aren't they are the opening you need to make a once in a lifetime change and that's why the path for you to make that change opens only once and you have to make and you have to be steadfast about it now uh considering the tower card sitting here as a result of all that it kind of speaks that the whole transition of, of the change it's not going to be pleasant at all uh you you basically will have to how can i put it into words you will have to be drop dead into the water i believe it is the expression when you just you are blindsided by the events or by the circumstances or by the people as well uh, <clears throat> And the whole reason of this card, or the whole energy of this card, the tower, it is to throw you in a very unfamiliar environment, into a very unfamiliar circumstances that makes you basically give the most out of yourself, to act in a way you never acted before, to make a decision in a way you never made decision before, because 
if you are facing a, a, a dead end into your life by doing the decisions the way you were doing the decisions by this point, how do you expect that to change if you are going to make the very same decisions over and over again? It's not. So the universe here, it, it, this is basically the finger of the universe that we do have with the tower card. Um, that, that there is a... Uh, um, how can I put it into words? Uh, there is a specific pattern in astrology that shows it as well. But in Tarot is the tower. We do have the Aramaic letter of Yot. I'm showing that into my Tarot classes, which is the very finger of God or the finger of the universe that basically interferes. Okay, seeing that you are going into a magic circle. Okay, for example, you are in love with someone. You you both are in love with one another, but you never can kind of like make it happen because either the person from the other side takes inappropriate decisions either because you do take an inappropriate decisions and it's just you both love each other but uh, it just it never cashes in and not because it can't but because the wrong choices and the wrong, the wrong actions are made in regards to the circumstances and now the universe like i said Takes matter takes matters in in our own hands and um, gives you the circumstances you need, or rather, like you may not know it that that you need them at that point, but you definitely need them to change that magic circle to get out of the magic circle itself. And uh, that is what boils down for the week, uh, for the week, really, it is that you're going to have your chance and it is important that you do take it because I want to underline one more time, it's going to feel very awkward, it's going to feel very unfamiliar, chaotic and, and bizarre and people usually are afraid of uh, taking actions under such an environment, under such a circumstances. Very often, a uh, tower card comes with the unexpected, not very often, always, the tower card comes about as something very unexpected. Uh, I, ha I had it more times than I could count for a unplanned pregnancy, which could be the event that really consolidates you with the person you love, but you just can't be together because of reasons, okay, or choices, I would say. <clears throat> That could be the necessary laid off from work uh, where you were very unhappy, but you were afraid to, to quit your job and find another one that is going to be more suitable. And now you are laid off and you have no choice but to seek another one, which is going to be way more suitable. The thing about the tower is that it brings down your foundations and the walls you built so you can rebuild them again. But this time around, rebuild them in a way that suits you best. Uh, the rest of the week, aside from these, from that hour or a couple of hours where you really are going to have the initiative, like I said, is going to be very uneventful. But that doesn't mean that you have to be killed by boredom here. Uh, just on the contrary, having the Queen of Cups, it kind of speaks for a spiritual practice. Is that it's really your affinity to build up spiritual practices is going to be very sharp. So studying astrology, studying tarot, or numerology, Kabbalah, whatever your whatever floats your boat is going to be uh, very profitable for you because you're just going to have the nut for it you will be able to grasp on, on the on the material or on the essence of it with uh, with a much more ease uh, than usual it is just that seven of pentacles which sits into the second position it's uh, it's not going to allow you to realize that at the time for the time being or for the week but you are going to be quite surprised few weeks from that particular week, July 18th to July 24th, that everything you read about astrology or about numerology or about tarot, you you not just not just you only not just you learned it, but you do understood it. And that probably is going to give you the foundations to keep on going with it. And so with that said, that was your weekly general tarot reading guys for july 18th to july 24th hopefully you do enjoy it and you do liked it and uh we are gonna see each other next time until then bye